All right, welcome back. I wanted to do a video on um, what I think you're missing. Uh, most of the people who watch this channel and uh, friends of the community uh, on the uh, sports gaming side, I think they uh, are missing the boat on Out of the Park. It has a lot to offer uh, and it's best in class in a lot of different areas. I want to just kind of quickly go through those. This is, I get nothing out of this uh, other than the fact that I see so many people who turn their noses up at Out of the Park um, and they're missing some of the best features. And I'm going to save the best for last. Uh, but I'm going to go through quickly, as quickly as possible, uh, and show you some of the things I really like about it. And uh, it's not without its flaws, but it is uh, it, it has the technology that basically no one else can match. So anyway, let's start out. Uh, let's take a look at season replays. So I've got a I've got a replay going here where I'm basically replaying all of uh, the tops years and doing something a little weird uh with this book get this way with this book uh, i'm going through and recording stats from each year uh, with my history and in fact i've had uncle ron do some uh, audios clips for prior seasons and kind of just like a review um uh, like a reporter, and uh, it's been great. But anyway, I use Out of the Park to do that. So let's get let's jump into a game real quick. Um, you can see I have, um, with a few little changes, you can get the uh, the game to look uh, like an older sim. So let's go. Let's see where we got with Brooklyn Dodgers. All right. So I'm going to play the Dodgers at the Giants, and I'll show you uh, just, uh, I'm going to play this uh, quickly, but. So you can see we're in the polo grounds. That looks great. I've got, with a little bit of ranging, I've got a little more of a classic feel. I've got a nice, clean ballpark. So we'll start out with Gene Hermansky. So this is my season replay. I'm in the 1951 season. Has all the players. Uh, they all have uh, face gen. So they'll always be in the proper uniform. Um, uniform and cap. So that makes it look nice. I like the simplified uh, contact and power 1 to 10 scale, but you can change that to whatever you want, which is another big benefit of the game is being able to customize. Uh, it has the ability to do so much uh, that you would like. This screen here, I, I like everything except for I would like to be able to see career statistics, but that's one of the areas I had to sacrifice so I could get a little more screen, uh, a little more of the screen viewable. So, all right, we got runners here, second, uh, first and second. Gil Hodges up two outs. Base knock, that may score. That'll play one. We'll play through the first inning, and then I'll move on and show you some other stuff. But one of the other things I wanted to tell you about is, for instance, you can do a career replay here. So we can continue from the 50, which is exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to continue from 51 here, and we're going to get into um, the next season. And you can have it import rookies properly to their correct historical teams. You can do it where the rookies coming in will be free agents. So however your replay turned out, you can now take an alternative path. Uh, and I've heard some people talk about that they didn't like the... Um, the replay engine and I think if you set it up correctly it's going to get you super close and as close as any uh, other game out there so uh, I think that's overblown by some people who I think maybe when the, you see some 
uh, numbers that aren't correct. I think it's some of the settings because you can change all the settings and and uh, really alter how how it's going to turn out if you don't have something correct. Um, but if you kind of just follow the basics, it sets it up uh, to be historically accurate. All right, we got the bases loaded off Larry Jensen. Let's look at Jensen's numbers from last year. Last year he was 19 and three with a 301 earn run average. In danger here, Pee Wee Reese, seven contact. Oh, nice play there by the second baseman, Eddie Stanky. We'll play the bottom. All right, put a young pitcher in here. Stanky, after making the big defensive play, leads off the inning with a base hit. That could be two. Nope, takes the one at first. Bobby Thompson now. Fly to right. That'll be two down. Bringing up the dangerous Monty Irvin. Do a little pitch around here. He drills it to right. Oh, God. Bump wheels. Not bump wheels. <laughs> Let's bump from the natural. You know what I'm talking about. The bump goes through the wall but makes the play. Third out and he's still alive. All right. So that's that's the first part I want to show you. Season, season replay and basically we talked about career. So then there's also... Uh, GM mode. So this is kind of like the uh, the second uh, part of the game. You can play GM mode. So you can play any teams in history. You can do contracts. You can do uh, you know sort of like maybe a baseball mogul. Uh, so it has the ability to do that. Uh, you can do the current season moving through. It has full minor leagues. Um, or you could take a team. You could uh, manage and play a certain team, one team, and you could have historical rookies come in at different times. Like, I I had done one, and it had, uh, like, the draft picks were Robin Yao and Gil Hodges uh, came in in the same year. So that mixes it up. Everything is normalized. Uh, I like it. Like I like to play season replays, so that's what I'm doing here. It, it does have a hole for me, and that's an open engine. I am more of a cards and dice guy, but I'll show you some stuff that uh, that really works for me. So obviously the best graphics in this genre, uh, nothing is uh, nothing's really even comparable. Uh, I do like the way Action uh, PC Baseball does theirs. Um, I think this has got a little ways to go. It's it's crossed a it's crossed a line where. If you're going to do this, you, it's got to look good. So, uh, it does look good, uh, especially from a distance. It looks good. But uh, I think it's, it needs to get just a little bit better. The polygons and such uh, need to improve. But anyway, so um, I mentioned about customizing everything. All right, let's go into the reason that I absolutely love this game. Let's do a save. So my the the my favorite part of this. So normally without a, I've been playing out of the park since version two and st stopped for a very long time. But uh, when when I got back into playing in the twenty versions, I would notice perfect team, and I thought, well, that doesn't sound like that would be that much fun. I know I love. Uh, Trading card games, I like, uh, you know, I play a, quite a few mobile games. I was like, oh, it's probably pay to win. It's not going to be that much fun. Well, I watched um, Big Polly, and I hope he's doing well, by the way. If uh, Anyway, uh, had watched some videos of his and uh, saw what he was doing. I was like, okay, well, it, this doesn't look pay to win. It doesn't look like he's spending uh, money on this, and he's able to... Uh, to, to be competitive. So that so I looked into Perfect Team. So Perfect Team, you start out, they give you six free packs to start with, and you build a team with that. 
Well, you don't just build one team. You have lots of different teams you can build. And so I'm going to cover a little bit of that, but this is so much fun. It's so much fun. My highest played game on Steam uh, as of before last year began was 250 hours, which is a lot. This past year on Out of the Park, I had 1,300 hours just on Out of the Park 24. So 25 is just released, and the reason I'm making this video is to let you know uh, that you're missing it. You're missing this. If you're not playing Perfect Team, and I see so many people, like I've tried to get Beatles to do this. He has yet to try it. I did get Ron. Uh, I want a free version of the game. I gave it to Ron. Ron tried it for a little while. Uh, it didn't stick with Ron, but I think it could have. Uh, I wish we'd, he would have had a little more time, and we could have spent more time talking about it. Uh, but I have other friends who have tried it, love it, and have just as many hours in that I do. So I'm just hoping to get more friends in this, hoping to show you what you're missing. And so so let's go let's go through a few things. So it's not pay to win, which is the thing that most people would be worried about, is that you have to spend money to compete. And that's absolutely not the case. You may have to spend money to compete at the highest level but you don't see the high even if you spend money you're probably not going to get to the highest level and when i'm saying that i'm saying the top 50 players in the world uh you're probably not going to see those guys the only time you do uh it's not going to be good and not only are they good they're spending money and they're smart and they're really into this and they probably have five thousand hours in the game in a year so so free to play there's tons of tournaments that uh, only one less out of less than one percent of the game would where would money have any bearing on anything. Uh, you pick up cards uh, daily. Uh, there is a Twitch stream where you can uh, you can get pack drops on a daily basis. You can watch, learn about the game. There's so much to learn. It's fun to learn about the game. The community is great. Everyone is super nice. Uh, and again, this is on Twitch. You can get like five packs a day, four regular packs, and a silver pack. That's really nice to have. Uh, let's go into, let's just take a peek at this team. This is my team. We're just starting. So uh, the game just started Friday. Uh, we had a couple of days where we, uh, where we you, you go into an, an entry pool and then how how well you do in the entry pool feeds you into a tournament. So I'm currently in a bronze tournament. Uh, this will be a one week. It'll be a season. You play 20, 25 plus games uh, each day. Every 30 minutes you'll play a game. Our season starts in an hour and 26. Uh, let's go into the team. So let's take a peek. So here's my pitching staff. Uh, this is my this is my star, Wait Hoyt. And one of the things that you can do is uh, you try to upgrade as you go. And this is just perfect team. I'm going to show you leagues and tournaments. I'll show you that stuff later. But this is, if you enjoy this part of it, you can just build a team and try to win each of the leagues you're in. This, ha this is like soccer. If you do really well, you get promoted. The ultimate promotion is into Perfect League, where they award a trophy, and the teams are covered uh, on on Twitch. The championship games are covered on Twitch uh, each Sunday. Uh, you play Monday through Saturday for the league. So uh, here's my star pitcher, uh, Wait Hoyt. So if you look here, Wait Hoyt average sales. This has an auction market. So if you like flipping cards, if you like collecting sports cards, that's another aspect of this game. I could sell Wait Hoyt now, and I could probably get 8,900 points. Well, as you can see, I only have 2,200, so that would be really big. But we're starting our season. He's a diamond. Uh, the numbers go based from 40 to 100, and Wait Hoyt is right now my ace. He's got some weaknesses for an ace, and I probably will sell him at some point, but I'm going to play him for now. And he's he's a little splitty. He's left-handers are going to give him trouble. Hopefully, there won't I won't be facing a ton of left-handers. But uh, but for the most part, for an ace, 
he's got some problems. He would serve me really well in the bullpen, and ultimately, if I don't uh, put him up on the market, that's where he'll be used, is probably in the bullpen as a specialist. But that's down the road, and I probably won't make it that long. So I have Chris Paddock as my number two. This is a gold card, and so that gold card normally sells for about 3400 Uh In the entry league, he was really, really good for me. So you can go through, and you can see the numbers and the different stats um, that that your team has, and you build your team around uh, either their strength. You can have different ballparks that can be left-handed, right-handed. You can change those at the beginning of the year. Uh, you set up, you, I mean, you go through every detail from you setting up your closers to you assign roles to them, their secondary roles. Um, and then as you pick up players, let's go, let's just, let's just buy, let's buy a pack and open this. So this is what it looks like when you open a pack. And again, you'll get six free of these when you start. The game is 30% off right now. But let's open up a pack and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, we did not hit anything big, but you can look at the ratings here. Uh, this uh, Glenn Allen Hill might would play for me in a lower league. Uh, he's got extreme power for, for a low, what they call in the stone league, uh, which is a tournament setting, which I'll get into those in just a minute. But we can also sell the cards. So let's, I'm pretty sure this, this card's not going to do me much good. I could sell him right now. I could be. I could put him in as the lowest bid. No one has a bid. No one has a. No one's selling a card for less than one eighty. Now he's only been selling for eighty eight. Uh, there's someone here offering thirty for him. So I could sell him right now for thirty, but I'm not going to do that because I could. You can instantly sell. This is a bronze card. You can instantly sell that for twenty five. I'm going to list this for one seventy one seventy five. Hope someone is working on a set, which is another thing you can do. There's so many things you can do, and you just do what you like. But in this, you can collect sets. So in other words, if you collect the set of Boston Red Sox for live this year, 24 season, let's go into that real quick. So you have card collecting. So we're going to, let's say we're, say you're a Boston fan. You want to put that set together. So if you collect all of these Boston Red Sox cards, you can unlock, you would unlock a pack, and you would get a Bill Deneen uh, card from 1903 Boston Red Sox. So let's say we complete that mission, and we're going to move on to the level two. Well, then you can get a Tony Canigliaro gold card for completing that. So it has collecting, sports card, baseball card collecting. It has that aspect. You can collect your favorite teams. You can build your teams around just your favorite team. So that's another um, a big aspect that I really like is the card collecting. As you can tell, I like to collect cards too. So um, it's got like a, uh, um, a TCG uh, type of card collecting to it. If you like uh, merchant games where buying and selling, flipping flipping things in games uh, is fun for you. I used to play the auction house in uh, World of Warcraft. That was always a lot of fun to me. So flipping cards is a lot of fun for me. I will constantly keep my uh, card orders. I'll keep this maxed out. I'll have cards for sale going at all time. You can have up to 75 cards for sale. I will always have my, I will have, I'll be trying to move through cards as quickly as possible. Try to keep my money up, which is a lot of fun for me. That may not be for fun for you. You can quick sell the cards. Uh, I have a friend that plays the game. That's the way he plays. He just quick sells cards he doesn't want, plays the cards he wants. That's fine. He's not going to maximize his money that way, but you can play that way, and it's not going to kill you. So uh, let's go into, let me show you a tournament real quick, and then we'll probably call it a day on this. So you don't have to play the best of the best cards. You can play lower level cards. So let's go look at my iron team. This is an iron tournament that's going on. There's 16 teams in the tournament. Cost me nothing to play. 
and you if you can advance if i can make it to the finals i'm going to win a free pack uh, you can see i won round one uh three two i won round two three two and i'm down oh one here in that tournament these are cards from 40 to 60 to 59 so these are low level cards but you put together your best team with these low level cards and within probably your first six packs maybe you know a couple more packs uh, behind that, you could put one of these iron teams together. They're, they're very, very cheap to put together. So I'm going to look. Let's check out my stats here for this team. All right, so we've got uh, Johnny Rawlings, my second baseman, has playing great in nine games. He's hitting 412. He's got a .3 war. Um, let's see if there's anything. Let's check out his fielding stats. Fielding, he's... Doing okay. Um, nothing all that special. Let's check out, see who is who is struggling and someone. So next tournament, I may replace. Okay, so Steve Yeager, he's struggling. Uh, he's hitting uh, 077 on, in this tournament. Uh, let's look at his fielding stats and see. All right, so he's got a catcher ERA of 384, which is pretty good. Let's see. Let's see what our staff, what is our staff earn average? So our staff actually has pitched better. So our other our backup catcher is actually, oh, did that just, okay. So that just, so let's see if we won our second game to even the series up. Oh, we pulled it out 10-9. We scored in the eighth, so let's let's just jump into this. Let's watch this real quick. Let's do uh, let's do highlights. That's another thing I love about this. Even though this is a little turn, we can watch the highlights from the game. Uh, I don't have the camera angle set for this, so this is going to look a little sloppy. Let's see if I can do that real quick. So here are the highlights from this game. It is a home run by Nick Asaski. Got us off to a 2 to nothing lead in the first. We are still in the bottom of the first. With the bases loaded, Craig Wilson up. Wilson 200 on the year. Singles there, that's going to play two, it looks like. Two runs in, and we took a four to nothing lead in the first inning. Now we're going to jump ahead to the third inning. Ricky Bonus on the mound. He's extremely good, except for his stuff is not very good. So he's not going to strike very many people out. So we have to live with that. He, uh, they single in a run. We're still watching in the top of the third here. They've got the bases juice. Bonus got a strikeout there. Big strikeout, but it's still only one out. Major danger here. That's going to be a gapper. That's going to play one, two, potentially three. They hold the runner. So let's see if Bonus can wiggle out of this. That's three runs now in the third. Wild pitch. Could have been a pass ball. That'll score another. And... West Richfield has tied it up. Runs on first and third. There's an out. Is he going to score? Yes. So bonus is getting absolutely obliterated. And we have gone to the pen now. So the computers brought in Junior Thompson. And they played another run. It's 6 4. This is going to make it. 7-4. So, luckily we know... So, like, you can hide the score, so you can watch these highlights of these games and not know who's going to win. So, uh, luckily we know that we're going to have a nice comeback here. Johnny Rollins singles in one here in the bottom of the fourth. We've got second and third with Bob Musial, our big star, coming up. So, he's a 59. Not that great of numbers, but for this team... He's the star. He's he's the he's the best of the best for us. He's got four home runs in the tournament. 
Josh Rutledge up now. That's going to be a double through the gap. That's going to score two, and that's going to cut the lead. That's going to tie us up. 7-7 seven, seven now. We're in the fifth. Base hit up the middle. They're going to score again. No, they're going to hold the runner at third. One out. Slow roller. That'll plate one. So West Richfield takes the lead 8-7 to seven as we go to the bottom of the fifth. Ryan Nelson in for relief for him. Craig Wilson leads it off with a base hit. Cody Clemens up now. A little pop to the catcher. Still in the bottom of the six, one out. Oh, we're now in the bottom of the six. All right, Nick Saskett second. Johnny Rollins, slow grounder. They're going to hold the runner there. Eight seven still. West Richfield leading. Bob Musial, as we had mentioned, Irish knocks it to right and out. That's going to give us a lead of nine to eight in the bottom of the sixth. Having Smith up for him. He draws the walk. We've got Frank Carpin in. He's one of our best relievers. And we go Mitch Williams, a wild thing in now. Trying to shut it down. Two innings to go here. He's normally our closer. Trying to get two innings out here, it looks like. Give up a single there. Runner on first. Two outs. Base hit. Two outs. It's going to now be first and third. Base hit's going to score a run. That will tie us up at nine apiece. It's with Mr. Brian McRae over to second. That's going to end it. Bottom of the ninth. Let's, bottom of the eighth. Let's see how we get this. Got a walk there. Could lead to maybe a stolen base. Base hit to left. Station to station. First and second. One out. Johnny Rollins, who's hitting 436 on the tournament. Get struck out there. Two outs. Oh, the hero. Iris Bob Musel. Base hit to right. That's going to bring home Tavares. And that's how this one was going to end. Maybe a little more highlight here. Bobby Witt's going to come in to close, it looks like. One out. Top of the ninth. Pop up. Now that ends. Two outs. Steve Hunt's final hope for West Richfield. He'll pop it to third. Nice play there. And the Kansas City Crackers take the win. And we've evened the series at one. So, there's a tournament. There's a, another quick tournament, just like this one, that I was in that I didn't win. But in this case, if I can win two more games, I'm going to win a pack. It costs me nothing to get in. Tournament lasts. Uh, maybe the games are every 10 minutes, so we've got another game coming here. But anyway, this is just a quick overview. I wanted to show you um, some, some aspects of the game maybe you hadn't seen before uh, and try to encourage you to... Uh, consider the games on sale right now. Consider getting into it. If you do, please drop me a note and let me know uh, that maybe this video uh, influenced you into checking it out. And uh, definitely, if you enjoy it, I would love to hear and uh, maybe even join our Discord and uh, where we chat about the game, we strategize, talk about uh, which cards are underperforming, which cards are uh, are a good deal. Uh, we're welcome to help you. Uh, you know, get started and uh, get the most out of the game. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. Please uh, consider subscribing, liking the video. Uh, greatly appreciate all that. Friends of the community. Thanks to everybody.